Hello, and welcome to today's MS4 employee training. Today, I'll be talking to you about managing stockpiles of snow, salt, and other materials. Stockpile protection. Poor stockpile protection can be a huge source of sediment-laden runoff. That's why it's important to always be smart when it comes to your stockpiles. The first thing to think about when talking about stockpiles is placement. Where should they be located? Always place stockpiles of soil, gravel, and other materials as far away as possible from nearby drainage areas. Next up, perimeter barriers. You can stop sediment using a perimeter barrier on your stockpiles. These can take the form of berms, dikes, fiber rolls, silt fence, or gravel bags. During winter and rainy days, always cover up your stockpiles. And if you have bag material, always keep it on a pallet and under cover. First, the pile of salt is stored completely uncovered. Both piles of salt and snow are directly uphill from a storm drain that connects to a nearby lake or stream. As the snow melts, it is washing the salt right into the storm drain. Most snow piles contain more than just snow. Many are full of sediment, debris, litter, salt, vehicle fluids, and pieces of asphalt. Because of this, you should avoid pushing snow into lakes, ponds, wetlands, rivers, or any natural areas. Pile snow downhill of salt and sand storage areas so that the melting snow doesn't wash them away. Store snow in an area where you can use a street sweeper or plow to remove leftover dirt and sand after snow melts. Create windrows out of snow to guide motorists in parking lots when the lines aren't visible. Salt piles can contaminate groundwater if they are kept outside, uncovered, or on top of bare ground. Store salt on a paved surface. Keep piles indoors, and if that isn't possible, cover them. Sweep leftover salt in loading areas back into the pile so it doesn't soak into the ground. Use contoured, bowl-shaped pads for pre-treated salts to keep them from washing away. Store salts away from lakes, rivers, wetlands, ditches, and any storm drains. If leftover sand is mixed with salt, don't use it for other purposes. Save it for next winter. Thanks for protecting our water resources.